Hello there, YouTube. This is Flame Last Five Two Five here with another Seminole 4D uh, tutorial. This time, I'm not going to be doing water, but we're doing something like it. Today, we're doing uh, like the ripple effect when raindrops hit the water. So, open up a new file. See, you click save. It's always what you ought to do first, and you do. I don't know. Oh, nope, we don't want to name it after that. Um, rain. Save. Okay. So, uh, first you want to take out a plane. And you want to go into object over here. And make, turn, you're going to need to change this. So, 800. 800. That's why we want to have uneven water. Then 60, 60. So you get better ripples. Okay, oh, and then after that, make it editable and then hide it so you can't see it. Well, this one doesn't, whatever. Hide it so you can't see it. But depending on the version, you might have an X over here, but that's like the older version, but you should be updated now. Not updated. Um, next, you take out a sphere. And you change this right here. The size of the Y, change that to 300. I don't know, before you do that, sorry, I almost forgot. You gotta make it editable and then change it to 300. Or you're not gonna get the shape. And it should give you this, this ovalish shape. Um, after that, uh, get off that and then go into here and select taper. In your taper tool, you should have um, this fillet on. Make the mode unlimited, and then the strength 97. Yeah, okay. that I found out that's the best one. And then you put oh no, you put taper in the sphere. Sorry, make taper the child the sphere. Just see what it looks like. Okay, that's a nice, good-looking raindrop. Very mm, fancy, fancy. Okay, and to save that, so you don't have to mess around with that little plus, to open up a folder. Just hit current state the object. And then delete this. Where's my delete button? There it is. And now you have it's just one object. Okay. So after that, since this is, then you can turn back on. Oh, that's not the one I was supposed to be clicking. I was wondering why it went for me. This is what it should look like after you turn the plane back on. It should look like this. It should be peeking out. It doesn't matter. You're not going to be seeing it. And as you could see, this is a pretty big raindrop compared to, you know, so we're going to change it to 6.169 and 11.883 then 6.169 BAM! Your XYZ is small enough good can't see it there. Okay. Oh, god damn it. Okay, now you turn that off. And then you go in, you just click emitter, obviously. And rotate the P9, negative 90. Negative. Don't put negative in, it's not gonna, it's gonna start shooting rain drops upward. And you don't want that. Okay, so make the size. 697.25 Make it in both for copy Oop. No, not me. paste And then apply Should be pretty good Then just lift this up a little bit Switch out of your way And then you're gonna wanna go in here And you're gonna want to Make your color of course so blue, green, red. It's a nice color for the blue. Put on reflection, not too much. Uh, specular, keep it there. Go into displacement. Hit texture, the little arrow. Go to effects and click ripple right here. Okay. Um. Then after that, select everything. Make sure all this is selected. Because if not, then it's not going to look as well. Then double click that, double click the square. If 
then after you double click it you're gonna need to change a couple things this has got to be 20 this has got to be 10 this has got to be 3 so that's what it should look like right now and then okay that's on article dependent and then take the plane take it click it and drag in the object because that's the one it's going to be on and click sphere take it and oh no wait don't click sphere stupid click emitter and drag it into particles because then that wouldn't work well okay so then you go like that you x out you put this on the plane boom and then you hit play and you're not going to see it here and you're not going to see it here when you do do it you're not going to oh ooh, we almost forgot something really important we should probably show the particles of this and make this 20 so we get more raindrops but make sure you click show particles or you're not going to get you know any raindrops showing up and just be blank ah god we divide, we turn, we have to turn the sphere back on. Okay, specifically this sphere you might want to put, you know, like under here. Oh wait, we almost forgot something. We didn't make a color for the raindrop. Okay, so let's go into here, make it like a bluish. Bluer, okay, that's, that's nice. Trans. Reflection, transparent. Oh, well, you can't really see it. Um, yeah, that's nice. Okay. Now you have that. This is what it will look like. It's not going to show up. Ripples aren't going to show up here. So you have to take a picture. That, sorry, that was my old one. And there you go. That's what it should look like. Um, I'm gonna make a little movie of this and then I'm going to show I'm gonna put it after this tutorial is over it'll be at the end so that's what so then you can see what it looks like uh, remember to subscribe to my channel tell me what tutorial I should do next in the comments below and watch my other videos so long youtubers